The title of this dream is Run to the Mountains Now. Tsunami, demonic attack. Okay. This dream is from one of my viewers named Wolfie. That is his code name. All right. And I'm going to tell the dream right now as if I am him sharing. I was sitting on the side of a picnic table at a beach with my five friends. Now, I knew who they were specifically, and I knew they were Christians as well, but they were not, let's say, strong in the faith. Believers nonetheless, okay. And I noticed there were three bags packed, really stuffed, packed to the full. And the day was quite gloomy. I mean, it was... It was really gloomy, thick with clouds in the sky. It was not what you would call a good day. It was not. All right. Now, I start walking along the beach. And they're still sitting there. So I'm walking along the beach and I'm looking at the water. And I start kicking some stones as I walk. You know how we do. And I look up and I notice this bright light. And it's Jesus with two angels on his side. And I mean, the look on his face was, was of such concern. And he says immediately, I want you to run. Run now. Run to the mountains now. And I turned around to run to my friends to tell them, you know, what, what happened? So I asked them, did you see that? And they also, with astonishment, said, yes, they had. Okay, so we did just that. We took off and we went up to the mountains. And next thing, the dream fast forwards and we are up in some small mountains. Okay. And while we're up there, we were walking along and we noticed that there's a cabin, all right. And as we're headed toward the cabin, we hear this loud boom. And we turned around to see, we knew it was coming from that ocean, you know, from the shoreline where we had just come up there from. So we look toward that beach and we see this gigantic tsunami busting through this town. I mean, it was ripping through it suddenly. And I told my friends, you know what? If we had been down there right now, we would have been dead. That was really scary to see. Okay. So now, after we see this tsunami, I happen to look at my wristwatch, and it is 11.59. Weird, huh? Hmm, what does that mean? Okay. So, anyway... After we heard that big boom and we saw what happened at the beach, then we noticed this cabin. And as we head toward the cabin now, we call out to see if anybody's in there. Nobody's answering. It looks like it's abandoned. So we go in and we, we put our little, you know, three bags, those big three bags that we had stuffed. We put them on the floor, and now I noticed that two of my friends, because we were tired, we were resting, two of my friends were in the corner chatting away, and the other three were playing cards at the card table. Okay, so now while they're playing cards, check this out. I happened to look down at my watch again, and now it is one 11 a.m. Okay. Ah, that's weird. I don't know what that means, but anyway, that's what time it was. I got up from the couch and I heard a voice. I want you while my friends were playing cards over here and chatting over there. I hear this loud, this voice. I mean, it was very very stern and strong. And he says, it was, I knew it was the voice of God. I just knew that. And he says, lock the doors 
and lock the windows and draw the curtains to every window. And I hollered. I told my friends right then what God had just said. So we all got up and got busy doing what God told us to do. Okay? And then all of a sudden, we start hearing these growls outside. I mean, they were evil growls and scratching at the doors and the walls of the cabin. It was scary. And then, I'm, I mean, uh, we, this was scary. Okay. Then whatever that was trying to come through did not sound like animals. Not one. They sounded like demons, big, evil demons. And all of a sudden, they start, we hear this helicopter, and as the helicopter's coming closer, the, de the, the demonic creatures, whatever they were, were trying to bust down the door. And as they were breaking it down, I hollered to everybody, repent, repent, repent. We dropped to our knees and we began to pray immediately. And next thing you know, the door bust open. We hear screams. And that's how the dream ended. I woke up. Thank God. Oh, that thing was scary. Now, that was Wolf talking. This is Patricia talking. I believe we should pray about this dream. Because I believe there are some symbols as well. And the Holy Spirit can give each one of us an interpretation. I believe the times on his watch, being so specific, had some meaning as well. Okay? So, let's pray, saints. Pray hard. Because we really have no idea what's happening. I know when I preached that December 31st of 2014, the word for 2015 was from God, prepare for battle. Now, I took that as a spiritual battle, but I also considered the possibility of a physical battle taking place on American soil as well. So we really have to pray. We have no idea what's getting ready to take place, what's getting ready to unfold. But we really need to be prayed up. Our faith needs to be fortified through God's word or we will crumble under the pressure. Please, saints, the ones that are close to God, living a holy life, I mean, with a relationship who knows him and who he knows, not religion. I'm talking true people of God. We will we will somehow make it through this as unscathed as possible because God will work miracles on our behalf. But just know, we have to have our ears peeled to God's voice because he may tell us to run and he may tell us not to pack, but to get out of Dodge and Dodge might be America. God bless you as you listen and wait for God's next instructions. Amen.